Uh, hi, Aaron. My name is Nicholas Gibson. I've been skating for about two years, and I'm from the Bay Area and Silicon Valley, and I need help with my ollies. Um, I'm actually, I can get pretty good height on them, but I want more height and more consistency because I want to learn how to ollie up a curb. This is the gear I use. I have a fresh new Revive Red Lifeline with independent Reynolds and the Bones STF V3 52 milli. I also skate a helmet signed by the one and only Steve Caballero, who is also the inventor of my shoes. Here is what I already know how to do. Awesome, man. So thanks for sending in your video. I really do appreciate it. Let's check out these ollies. Good, so that writing looks pretty good. We gotta get someone manning your video camera. You just shot straight through the screen. Boom, and again. Good, so yeah, when you're riding, make sure you're trying to dodge things, turn. Good, you got some little kick turns there, little tic tacs. Nice. And now here are my attempts at the ollie. Great, so let's see what we got here. Good. That was an ollie. You got it. All four wheels are up in the air. When you said attempts at the ollie, I expected two wheels to stay on the ground. But that, that right there was also another good ollie. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. That right there, that was pretty good. Cool. So let's watch your front foot. Make sure your front foot is dragging up the board. That is the most important part for the ollie is what that front foot is doing. Good, looks like it's dragging. And now ollieing with speed. Cool, so let's see what we got here with the speed. Good, that was a good amount of speed. Popped up the ollie. Yeah, like you were saying, you just need to work on the control a little bit. Get the control factor a little more down. So um, I'm not doing anything wrong, it's just something's not um, doing the right thing. Like, I think it's sliding my foot up because my shoes wear down in the wrong places. You can help me with that too. I've tried every foot position possible. It always wears right here and right here. I've shoot this shoe like 10 times. And um, I just want more consistent ollies. So if you could help me, that'd be great. Um, hashtag go push skateboarding. Yeah. Cool, so actually your shoes are supposed to wear right around that section. Maybe like a very slight little bit back towards your heel a little bit. Um, not necessarily so much on the top of your shoe, but where you're pointing towards the bottom. That part looks good, man. Looks like you're dragging your foot up just about in the right position. The only thing I would say in terms of that is maybe try and keep your foot a little more straight. But yeah, it looks like you're... Um, it looks like your your wear on the shoe is just fine. Sometimes when people learn how to ollie, it gets more up towards the toe. And yours is up there a little bit, but overall it's, it's not in a bad position at all. Cool, so this is the step right there. That's the step you're, you're going to practice. And you actually have that step down pretty well. Um, the one step after you drag it is you're going to actually push your front foot forward, forward towards your nose, and that's what levels the board out in the air. You can work on that more, and that will just help you to level the board out in the air more. Um, by looking at your video, honestly, it does look like you're popping high enough to get up onto a curb. I do think you can. I think it's just um, going to be going out and taking the time and really committing to alling up a curb, first of all. Your first couple attempts are probably going to be pretty scary, and you're going to want to jump off and jump to the side or whatnot, but once you get over it, I think you will ollie up a curb just fine. Um, one of big suggestion I have for you is to find some little obstacles. Start out with just a crack and then go to like a hose and maybe like a broom handle. Maybe like some just little higher things just to build it up slowly. Build it up on a gradient and that's alling over things. And then once you get to like a two by four, then you can actually start out find just a smaller curb and then move to a bigger curb, and then eventually to a two-stair or something. But yeah, again, it looks like your control is pretty good. You're popping the ollie high enough, I would say, already to get onto a curb. You don't have to actually like bust a huge ollie in order to get onto a curb. So I think you're there already, to be honest. So yeah, just 
every day. Skate every single day and make sure you get out there and just do as many ollies as you can and ride around everywhere. Just ollie, 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 ollie. Skate all over the place and then you will you will master it and you'll get better and better and better and better and better. Cool. So for any of you guys looking to master these tricks and more, get Skateboarding Made Simple. There are five different volumes and every single one of them is available at BrailleSkateboarding.com and on iTunes as iBooks. Personally, I like the iBooks the best because they have a breakdown of every chapter and some text explanation as well. Thanks a lot for your guys' help and support. You guys are the best.